Hi, I'm Doc Nani, and I'm from Rising U Era International Incorporated, and I'm bringing to you today the King Yumevet. Our advocacy is to help the people from farm to market down to your own table in producing right and safe food for our benefits. We are with the government and all our desires of promoting organic farming, and this is our way of making it easy for you. Be with us in this campaign to achieve a healthy and a wealthy earth. You know, when we talk about organic, everyone loves this. You know, we love organic because it always means healthy food, good health for everyone. But why there are so many people who are not actually engaged into organic farming? There are so many farmers who surrendered in practice, in the practice of organic farming, because it's very laborious, and besides, it is bringing down the volume of the production. Here, in our advocacy, you can still achieve the volume of your production without compromising the quality of your production, without compromising the health of the consuming public. That's why we really wanted to promote organic farming to everyone. Let me bring you to raising livestock and poultry the natural way, and this is our advocacy. Livestock, poultry, and other animal production are actually an important part in the small farm economy, and it is a source of protein food and farm income as well. If we just have the right education and the right technology for this, it becomes a high advantage to our living as well. The health of the livestock and poultry and all other animal productions can be assured by combining a prevention and treatment. But to ensure good health, a comprehensive health program must include optimum nutrition. But the problem today is, we are not just talking about optimum nutrition. We can always achieve this. When you go to the farms, it's not always the issue, the volume of production. But the issue here is about how safe our food being produced. How safe our food is. When you go to the farms, like commercial farms and even the backyard farms, and you ask them how many, how many like, pigs are you producing in a month, then the, the owner of the farm will just tell you, I am producing like 10,000 heads of the pigs every month. Then you will really ask the owner, are you eating one of your produce? Then the owner of the farm will just tell you, no. <laughs> Why? Because you know, the owner of the farm knows that he is give, giving everything to the, to the animal, even the synthetic materials, even the growth boosters, and sometimes even hormones they are giving it to the animal just to achieve the maximum production without considering, in fact, the health of the consuming public. And this has become our problem. When you ask the owner of the farm, where are you getting your own food? Then he will just ask, I will just tell you that I am having a backyard raising there. And I just have two pigs there at the back of the house. And then, then we are raising it for food. That is for our consumption. That is healthy. We are giving healthy food for them. We are giving unhealthy food to the consuming public while we are securing the kind of food that we are eating. In this advocacy, we would like to raise you some questions for us to consider. First, how to achieve optimum nutrition without compromising the quality of our produce? Can we do it conscience-free? Can we produce maximum results within the food security and safety? Is it not time-consuming and exhausting? Is it also applicable to large-scale production or farming? Is it not losing? These questions are actually the things that we, we consider when we come to think of the economic considerations in our animal production. As we go along, I will tell you some of the wonderful benefits of the product that can be converted to these benefits. Let me bring you first to the nature's best kept secret. And this secret is the missing link up to this moment. Why I say this is a missing link? Because not everyone knows about this. Not even the animal practitioners. When you, you come to ask some of us, somebody will just ask, will, many of us will just tell you, I don't know about humic acid. 
And this is indeed the missing link until today that it will be unveiled unto you. The whole world doesn't know about this third nutritional element, that this is as important as the vitamins and minerals to the diet of our animals. And we are calling this in our company the miracle substance. Why? Because this is just a component of the earth, highly processed, but um, exhibiting wonderful and excellent results to the body of our animals. We go back to the basic, we go back to the safety, we go back to organic farming while achieving maximum results. The thing that I'm talking about is humus or the humic acid. What is it all about? This is an organic portion of the soil that remains after millions of years of microbial decomposition of plants and vegetation. Definitely, this is not present in our country, the Philippines. But this is present in the country with high deposits of oil and the countries with high tendencies of winter. Further decomposition of these remains a form of oil and coal deposits, but it is found out that there is another unusual layer that can be called the humic acid or the humic deposits, and that is what we are using now. When we talk about humic acid, this is a fraction of humic substance composed of a long chain molecule which is high in molecular weight. Dark brown in color, insoluble in alkaline solution. Our humic acid used in King Yumevet is a sodium-based humic acid. And this is the answer to, a, to your long quest of an optimum nutrition solution. Here it is. What are the effects of the humic acid to the body of the animal? First of all, on the blood properties. The red blood cells and the hemoglobin, when we'll be using the, the King Yumevet, stay on normal levels under the influence of this product. We know when the, the, the red blood cells or the RBC has a normal level, excellent function in the body, there will be also a good hemoglobin function. And this actually gives rise to a good oxygenation of the blood. And as we know, when there is a good oxygenation, there is also a good flow of the nutrients from the feed to all parts of the body of our animals. Besides, there is an increased healing times for injuries using the humic acid. So you will always expect that when you are using humic acid to the injured animal, there will be fast healing, fast recovery, and in fact, a stronger body of your animals. The next wonderful effect of the humic acid is on the mineral transfer. It increases the cell membrane permeability to easily transfer minerals from the blood to the bones and all parts of the body. You know, sometimes our problem here is when we are giving too much feed to our animal, and at the end of the day, we see our animals still not growing. You know, it's, it's about investment here. And when we come to think that the bigger investment that we are putting in the animal production goes to the feeds, it becomes a big problem, really. Now, with the help of the humic acid, it facilitates the absorption of the, the feeds that we are giving and all the, the essential nutrients and minerals that we are giving to our animals. The humic acid acts as the dilator, increasing the cell wall permeability in increasing or allowing the easier transfer of the minerals from the blood to the bone and cells. And you will be expecting a faster growth, bigger animals here, of course, shorter harvest period, and excellent results, most especially in the quality of the carcass. The next wonderful benefit that we can get from the humic acid is on the stress, ma stress management. It blocks or reduces the production of stress-causing hormones. We know stress is the number one predisposing factors, factor of all diseases today, even in humans and in animals as well. And if you can see, the rise of the cancer cases is due to stress. And in most cases to the animals, stress is being caused by 
the addition of so many synthetic materials to the feeds and their consumption, in their diet. This has been observed in animal behavior and the humic acid actually is acting upon the blocking or the reduction of the production of the stress hormones. Animals that are fed on new mate are less affected by the outside stimulus of the crowds or even the confining areas of the arena. As you can see, most of these animals being fed with humic acid are not, are not directly affected with the changes in the temperature. Even when it's too hot, even when it's too cold, the animals usually feed leisurely and um, the effects actually can easily be seen in our, in our herd. The next effect of the humic acid is on the microbial interaction. It stimulates microbial activities. It also exhibits antimicrobial activities and inhibitory functions, stimulates the good microbe production, and while suppressing the bad microbes. So there, will, there are two uh, microbial interactions that we can see here with the king humivet. First is it suppresses the bad microbes or it kills or inhibits the production of the pathogenic bacteria. So whatever kind of bacteria that can be found in the system of our animal, the humic acid automatically or directly acts upon it. And also, it exhibits a probiotic property. It acts upon the good microbes by increasing or stimulating the production of the good microbes. It's a very wonderful effect to our production because, in fact, most of the commercial farms now are spending a lot of resources to produce probiotics because it is also necessary in synthesizing food in the stomach. Humic acid is directly acting upon it, and it's of a very beneficial to our animal. The next effect that we can see here is on the immune system. When outbreak comes, we really can see that we need to boost the immune system of our animals, and it's always necessary. We have to build a wall of protection to our animals by, by, by building or lifting the immunity of our animals. The humic acid actually boosts the immune system by allowing the body of the animal to produce glycoproteins for cellular stimulations. It also increases the production of the T cells or the thymus cells or the immune cells. And uh, by this, the production of the T cells becomes more relevant than the invasion of the infection cells. So by this, infections will have no place in the body of your animal. It is always good to boost the immunity of your, of your animal. Even in the cases of uh, the outbreaks, we need to lift the immunity or the immune system of our animals so that our animals here will be either not affected or not, um, not infected or might be infected, but not damaged. The next is anti-inflammatory property. You know, we really need to address inflammation because this is also very important in our animal production. When our animal experiences inflammation, it actually disturbs the overall performance of our animal, especially in the feeding performance. You know, when there is inflammation, it is always associated with swelling, redness, and most especially pain. And, we're out, and when our animal experiences pain, it affects the performance comes to feeding. So whenever the animal's feeding habit is affected, you will always expect that there will be the, a degradation in the weight. There will be a reduction in the weight. There will be a um, the reduction in the production of our animals. So that's why it is always very necessary to address inflammation. And this humic acid that we have here in the King Yumivet is known to exhibit anti-inflammatory property. It helps to relieve swelling from joint inflammation. It has been shown to bond to the collagen fibers to aid in repair of the damaged tendons and bones. Actually, it makes the tendon strength 
lifted up to 75% and even higher than that. And in the cases of injury, you can always expect high recovery. The next thing is antiviral property. So amazing, because King Umevet is exhibiting an excellent effect on the viruses. It has an absorbing and absorbing capacity to the virus. It penetrates the internal morpho morphology of the virus, thus destroying the capacity of the virus to, to replicate and even to mutate and uh, cause another virus. You know the, the characteristic of the virus. It, it always changes form from one, one form to another, and it changes by time. And sometimes it takes just like 18 to 21 hours to change another form, like in cases of the vaccinations that we are doing in our fowls. You know, sometimes when, are not, when we will not be informing our neighbors and then we are giving vaccination to, to our fowls, the next day, uh, the, the, the fowls of our neighbors, the chicken of our neighbors will be dead, all dead, you know, and it becomes a problem here. That's why it is always necessary to build this antiviral property into the body of our animal, and the humic acid is taking care of that. It is the material preventing viral replication by sorbing into the viral envelope and destroying the entirety of the virus. And it is very wonderful, you know, so, so amazing result of the humic acid. Besides, the humic acid has also a wonderful effect on the liver. It is known to be regenerative in liver tissues and increasing the liver mass. As we all know, it is always very important to take care of the liver because liver is the major player in the digestion. Liver is the center of the digestion. With a healthy liver, we will always expect that there will be a, a healthy and a normal turnover of the blood because blood is even produced in there. And it is also a graveyard of the, the damaged blood. Other than that, liver also plays in the metabolism. This is a major player of the metabolism. So humic acid here is helping actually the liver to become efficient in the oxidative phosphorylation, and that is a process of the liver cells to synthesize food and help the body to, to consume it in, in the best uh, absorption process. And it takes an active part in the liver metabolism as well, liver function and the protection of the entirety of the liver. And that is the, the wonderful function of the humic acid in the liver. The next best effect of the humic acid is detoxifying. A very strong chelator, you know, the humic acid is a very strong chelator of the life-sustaining minerals, making it... You know, available for the consumption of the body. When you speak about chelation, this is a process of binding and a coating mechanism. So humic acid binds with the life-sustaining mineral, coat it and make it readily available for the body to consume, putting it into an essential mineral state, chemical state, and we call this one a phytostate, so that it, it will be readily absorbed by the body. Its active component, the fulvic acid, is a very strong chelator that always works together with the humic acid. And other than this, the chelation process is also acting upon the toxins in the heavy metals. Its mechanism is binding and coating the toxins in the heavy metals, put them in a chemical state that would become very difficult for the cellular absorption thus eliminating the toxins and the heavy metals out from the body. And by this, you will always expect this excellent result, the odor reduction. The humic acid acts into odor reduction. From 64% to 100% odor elimination depending on the management. It decreases the volatile ammonia. As you can see, as we have tried this in the field, so many trials that we have done, and we really have gained positive results, we receive affirmations coming from the owners of the farm before um, the odor has become their problem. 
because usually odor and flies goes together. So it becomes a very big, big problem to the farm. Now, when we use King Yumevet in their farms, after three days, the odor reduces to 64%, and now they eliminated, eliminated the odor, and definitely the fly was eliminated also from their farms. This is due to the complete digestion of food, and that can be observed in the manure and the urine of our animals. This is very excellent, and we are very proud of it. You know, the odor reduction from 64% to 100% odor elimination. What I am talking here is King Yumebet. I could always say that this is the best health routine su supplement. This is the humic acid in a pack. And we made it readily available for your comfort. The King Yumevet and the Rising U Era International Incorporated have been recognized by the authorities, the Golden Globe Annual Awards for Business Excellence as the best world-class livestock healthy supplement product by the National Data Research Examiner and Marketing Services, Sining at Gabay ng Buhay Foundation Incorporated or the SINAG, as the Philippines Best Company Commission Incorporated and the SINAG News Magazine. We have proven our excellence when it comes to animal production. And this is the best supplement ever if you can have it your own. Our move today impacts the generation and the next. Let's go organic. Let's go king, Yumevet. <laughs>